Hello and welcome to Access 2013 Tutorials. In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can open up reports dynamically using navigation forms. So if you want to play along follow the link below the video to the download section of the website and download Access 2013 DB24. Okay, so in the last video we created a summary report which is down here somewhere and it's called guest summary. The issue we've got at the moment is that if we go to form main and we go to reports we can choose guests um, but the problem we've got is that we've got more than one guest report. We've got guest activity and guest summary. So what I want to do is I want to put a combo box here where I'm able to change the combo box and it will change the actual report that we see in here. Simple right? Well let's see. It is kind of simple is always a bad word to use. Uh, okay, so no, let's get rid of this. So first things that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create a table which we're going to call table reports and we're going to use this table as the row source for the combo box. So we're going to create a uh, table design and we will the first field we're going to need is going to be report name. And this is where we're actually going to store the actual name of the report. So in here we'd store, for example, report guest activity or report guest summary. Um, we're then going to need, uh, so that's the name of the report. We need the, I suppose we can call it caption, which is the name that we're going to show to the um, user. And last thing, we're going to need a uh, group so we can not just have this for guest reports. So we can put a group, for example, for um, rooms, for bookings, etc. This will all become clear soon enough. We don't really need, to. should we store that as a primary key? Can we store it as a primary key? Yes, we can, okay. It looked blacked out for a moment there, but obviously I was imagining things. Okay, so table reports. Does it? No. Why is that? Oh, it's because I provided the table, didn't I? Oh, look. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Let's get rid of the table reports we started with and let's call this table reports. Okay. Right, so let's go to daily sheet view. Okay, so the report name, uh, let's go report guest activity. Caption is. Um, guest activity or actually just call it activity and group will be one um, and next one we want is report guest summary I'm just going to call this one summary and one so the group one will refer to any guest reports so save that and close that um, and we will open up, what do we want to open up? We want to open up guest reports or report guests. This one. So we're going to drop a combo box in here. We need to put it here. Um, might have to move this up a little bit. Something like this. Actually, let's just split that. So I'm just reformatting or changing some of the sizes of the uh, boxes and the empty cells. Okay, so we go go to design, grab a combo box, and just drop it in there. And double click on that, change it to report. Click on the combo box, press F4, and change it to CBO report. Okay, so with this combo box, we want to store the name of the report but we want to show the caption so if we go up to table reports we want to store this but we want to show this which is something we do a lot with combo boxes so go to data uh, go to row source click on the ellipsis and click on table reports so we want to store this so we put that as the first column and we want to show this um, and we want to 
uh, we're going to need to sort it by reports. So if we run it at the moment, we only want to show reports that are number one. So we'll go criteria number one and we'll change that to not true. So run that and we get that still, which is good. Um, we might as well sort these. Okay, and save it and close that. And then you go to format, column count two, zero and four. And now if we go to form view, you can see that we've got activity or summary. But when we actually click on one, what the combo box is storing is report guest activity. And if I click on this one, it's actually storing report guest summary. I can prove that by changing the column widths to something like two and two. And so you can see that when you click here, you've got two columns. It's storing the first column, but I don't want to see that first column. So I hide it and I say zero and four. So standard kind of stuff. Okay, the next thing we want to do is when we update the combo box, we want to actually change what's in here. So we already can do that through the update button. So click on the update button, press F4, and we're going to rob that macro. Uh, Requery. Oh, of course, that just assumes temp start date, temp end date. So we don't. All right, so that was a mistake. Okay then, hokey dokey. So what do we need to do then? We're going to have to write that browse to action, which is going to be a bit of a pain. Have we got anything on the form? And we're going to have to do mega browse to action here. So we've got form main followed by form reports. Which is that followed by form report guests and then this here Whew. oh good luck with that okay let's have let's give it a go so click on it go to after update create a macro and it's very simple we're going to say browse to okay so the object types form the name is going to equal CBO report. So whatever's in CBO report, that's what we want to show. That's the whole point of the, the exercise. Now the where condition, sorry, path to subform control gets tricky. It's form main dot navigation subform right arrow um, form reports dot ds right arrow form report guest I think dot uh, ds oh I don't know if that's going to work let's have a look so this is form report guest so that's one thing that's wrong a form report guests um, this is called ds I hope it is if you open up form reports Let's make sure this is called DS as well. It is. Okay, let's try that. So you go to form main, reports, guests, and then that worked too well, didn't it? Fantastic. Okay, form. Port guests, try and update that bad boy. And if I miss something in the macro, browse to form object name CBO report. There's CBO report, isn't it? Yes, it is. Form main dot navigate. All right, let's change the object name. Let's just pick um, guess summary. Oh. What a ridiculous thing I've done here. Oh dear. Shouldn't be allowed out. So it's a report I'm navigating to, not. Okay, so report. Am I doing open report? No, no. I'm, I'm truly losing the plot here. Right, object type is a report. The name equals CBO report. Save and close. Okay. Save and close. Right, let's try that. 
total brain freeze that is. Hey, it worked. Oh, it's exhausted me that has. Okay, so, pardon my errors. What did we do? Uh, form report guests. We created the combo box. Please remember, very important, we're storing the name, the actual name of the report, and we're showing a caption associated with it. And we put an event on the combo box. Uh, it's a browse to event. And we're telling the or we're telling access that after we update this combo box, we want to change the report in here. Yeah. But it's a little bit more complicated than that. Press a four because because we're using navigation forms, you can't just say, Oh, I just want to change the report in form report guest. You have to actually um, provide the whole path to the subform control. And the very outer form is called form main, which is this one. And so we say form main navigation subform. So it always starts like that. It starts with the name of the first form and then navigation subform. Um, and if we go to reports, this re form opens up within the subform, and that form is called form report. So it's form main navigation subform dot form reports. Uh, no, form main dot navigation subform right arrow form reports dot ds because that's the subform control here, and then within that. We end up placing form reports guests. So this is quite a complicated browse to subjects. One, two, three forms that we're asking it to browse to and the containers. And I did a little thing earlier on um, navigation forms. Um, not sure which video, but if you go backwards, you can check that one out to give you an idea. But anyway, that's how you update uh, dynamically. And as you add reports, you would just add them to the uh, table reports. Like I said, Group one is for guests, and then if we wanted to add reports for rooms, it'd be something like report room activity, caption activity, group two. So you're you're able to filter down with the combo boxes. Okay, um, that's it. That's the video. Okay, thanks for watching that, and I uh, hope I didn't confuse you too much because I certainly confused myself. And I will see you in the next video.